Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I have a question from Laura. The topic is five steps to help you get out of that single lonely mom rut. So here's Laura's question that she sent me. Dear Cyber Sue, I'm a single mom who has been divorced for eight years. I'm writing because I'm really missing the romance and affection from not being in a relationship. My son is 13 years old and I've raised him by myself for most of those eight years. His father has limited contact due to living in another country, which pretty much gives me 90% access time with my son. I work 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. four days a week, so that leaves very little personal time for me after getting my son to his sports activities and school events. How do I change things so that I can eventually have love in my life again one day? Thank you, Laura. Well, the one thing here is I can really relate to Laura, which is why this question sort of took me and I wanted to talk about it because it doesn't matter whether you're a single dad or a single mom. You're going to have issues that you have to deal with after a divorce. Not only have you got trust scars and, and some cobwebs in there that are sticking to you because you, you're nervous and you're scared about putting yourself back out there again. And as Laura says here, how do you have time to do it when you're working? Laura, in your case, you're, you're with your son so often that I understand how difficult it is for you to be able to get out and meet people. But he is 13 now, so that is something because once they hit the teenage years, they are a lot busier and they don't want to be around mom all the time. And you want to also be very careful that he's not feeling pressured to have to be around you so it's really good when you do take some personal time because it makes him happy to see you happy and this goes for as i say for any any parent out there you feel guilty taking time from your kids but they need it as much as you do because we don't understand sometimes how much pressure we can put on our children because if they think that we're sad or we're having a hard time, difficult time getting through some things and not being with a partner, they feel obligated to be there in replacement of that partner. And this is not something you want to put on your, on your kids because it takes away them having their own childhood and being able to come and go as a kid. They don't need to take on the role as a parent to help us, and in my case, I was a single mom, as I said, help us through our stuff. We're the parent, we're the guide, we're the leader. So saying all that, Laura, you deserve some personal time. And it's time for you to take charge in making that happen. Because you're not just somebody's mom, you're a whole person. And you want to have a purpose outside of that as well in your life. Your child will always be your top priority, so there's no taking that away. So take that guilt out of the equation and start putting yourself back out there. So the five steps that I would suggest to taking away that lonely single mom feeling that you've been having is number one, set up a few play dates for yourself. Now I don't mean for your son because he's old, too old to have play dates, but whenever he's at a hockey, soccer practice, baseball, whatever, or he's got a school event, field, field, uh, school, field, events, things like that. You want to be able to have it so that when he's there, you don't have to stick around and watch everything. You can go away for a couple of hours. And even if it's just meeting a friend for a short walk, a coffee, anything that gets you into an adult atmosphere, something that takes you away from your home. Don't spend those two hours while your son is at, at an event going home and cleaning the house take that time to play. So make this happen as often as you possibly can during the week because the rest of the time you're with your son. So a couple of hours here and there is not going to make a big dent in how you parent your, your son. So that is the first thing I would suggest. Number two, have a carpool system set up with maybe another single mom. That always worked really well for me to have another single mom that I could bounce off of because not only did we understand what each other was going through, we knew how important it was to have a bit of time to ourselves and how special it was when we got that time. So set up carpool scenarios with whether maybe even maybe even your family can help you out. Drive them one day if you've got something you want to do. Go get your nails done or go for a, a 
go to the yoga class or something along those lines just to make you feel good because the more active you are that also sends you know endorphins off in your body makes you feel better about yourself and that you're not just at home all the time that is super important never be afraid to ask for some support and some help I think that's something we as single parents always feel that we're being a burden to other people by asking but if you've got family that's living in your area ask them for some help rather than always having to try and find people to help you at the school or maybe um, you know some good close friends see if your family can just be there for you just don't be afraid to ask because that's something that I can say that I didn't do very often and I kind of regret that because it really does give you a little bit more time even an hour a day is nice just breaks it up for both your son and yourself number three slowly start dating again now this one can be very nerve-wracking it can be very scary especially now with all the online dating sites apps everything what are you supposed to do when I say start slowly start just talking to men wherever you are if you're at a coffee shop if you've got friends that are inviting you over to a dinner party or a, a barbecue or something along those lines just start talking getting used to get used to being more social with how you respond to people you've probably been co cocooned up a lot just doing all the single mom stuff for a long time and you haven't had as much adult time as you would like so start slowly just talking to people if somebody wants to set you up on a date think about that it might be a fun thing to do because in the beginning when you're just learning how to get back out there again you really have got no idea what to do and how to get started and I wouldn't suggest doing that on your own. I would suggest finding someone that could maybe help you. So that leads me to number four. If you're really nervous about it and you have a hard time meeting anybody at all because of where you live, maybe you're more isolated, maybe your son's not involved in as too many uh, events that you can go to and meet other people and talk to them, I would hire a dating coach just for a few sessions. It doesn't have to be expensive. I'm not plugging myself here because there's lots of people in, within your city, Laura, that could help you out. There's lots of stuff online as well that you can just uh, watch videos on YouTube, all that, that can help. But it's always good to have someone personal that knows you, that understands what you're going through, that hears your story, and then they can help sort of direct you in the right place of where you need to go. And they can also help you with online dating if that's what you choose to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, you need to be as safe as possible and you do not invite anyone over to your home. You do not have someone pick you up. You do all these things as, as carefully as possible and just make sure that you've had somebody professional look into what you're doing just to guide you and help you see that you're on the right path. This is something that I really suggest if you've been out of the dating market for a very long time and it's not expensive. You can hire a coach for you know a couple of sessions for less than a couple hundred bucks. So try that if you're really feeling nervous and, and you just don't know what to do. That's a big one. And the fifth one which is super important as well is to get out of the house. It sounds so simple but so many people will stay home when their kids are out doing their things as they get a bit older when they don't need to be around you they stay home and binge watch Netflix well you're not going to meet anybody if you're at home all the time and as much as I love watching TV and getting into a good series myself I'm not single and if I want to get out and meet somebody and a potential love interest I have to get my butt off the couch and Laura that's all I can really stress to you here is that now that your son is a little bit older for sure pretty soon you know you might end up being an empty nester and then you're gonna be sitting here going what happened where did all the years go and I haven't even met anybody I haven't put myself out there to try different things I'm just basically lived to get my son to all his stuff and now what am I gonna do so I hope those five things help Laura um, one thing that I would really suggest just 
in the very beginning of all of this is to get out and join groups, whether you've got meetup groups in your city, hiking, go to a Zumba class. It doesn't matter whether you meet men or women, just getting out and meeting other people opens up your surroundings and broadens everything for you. So you might have a friend who's got a brother. You might have a, a cousin who's got a friend. All these things it, it will help you to meet people in a natural way. So maybe you won't have to do the online dating, which a lot of people don't want to do. And that's totally cool. But if you don't want to do that and you're ready to meet somebody that you want to fall in love with, then you have to get yourself out there and you have to be social and you have to talk to people. That's my suggestion. Thanks again for writing, Laura. Please keep me posted with whatever happens. I love hearing back from my, my people who write me. And thanks everybody for tuning in today. I'll be back next Wednesday. Please subscribe and click like. I appreciate you all.